What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today's Monday Mornings with Angel is a little bit more on the personal side. Actually, as they usually are, I feel like the Monday morning chats are definitely a little bit more personal. I'm gonna put my previous Monday morning right over right here. Is it on this side or is it on this side? Somewhere up here um, for you guys so that you can check it out and um, yeah, have another video to watch after this. Today we're gonna be talking about five things that I wish I had known before I had sex for the first time. And these are kind of topics that, um, like we're not gonna be having the birds and the beads talk, um, but these are kind of things that I didn't learn in school and that they don't tell you in school and that they, that I kind of wish that they did because these are kind of the more technical specific tips that I wish I had gotten um, and I wish I didn't have to learn the hard way. I mean obviously it's important for them to teach in school you know the whole like ordeal and how it works um, scientifically but these are kind of the tips that they should definitely start sharing with the girls to be like yo remember these you're gonna thank me for it later because I definitely would have thanked them if they had just told me but I had to find out the hard way. We're just gonna get started. Number one Orgasms through penetration don't always happen. Statistically, women only orgasm 62% of the time when they are having um, just kind of like intercourse, just having regular intercourse. Whereas men, um, it's a much higher number. I think it was like 80 something percent of the time they will orgasm through just penetration. Only 40% of the women surveyed um, have said that they orgasm during their last hookup and um, one thing for sure is that it's a lot easier for women to orgasm or come when they are having sex with somebody that they're comfortable with so it's definitely a huge mental thing as well but but so they found out um, through scientific studies that the closer your clitoris is to your urethra the easier it is for you to orgasm through just penetration. I guess if you have a shorter distance, it's kind of stimulating your clitoris as well when you are just being penetrated, but when the distance is kind of far, you see how this isn't getting um, stimulated when this is. So on the personal side, I definitely, definitely do not orgasm through penetration. I don't think I ever have, like just pure penetration, I don't think I've ever ever come from that um, and I used to think to myself I'm like is something wrong with me is something wrong with him like what are we not doing right um, and it has nothing to do with the either of you it has nothing to do with the men's performance which some guys like to think that you know I'm not doing good enough but it's totally not you guys and it's nothing to do with well technically it is to do with me it's but it's completely out of my control and I just want girls out there to know that it's completely completely normal you're not alone um, don't let the guys tell you otherwise you don't know shit about our vaginas um, but yeah you're not alone it's a very very common thing for women not to or orgasm through pure penetration the clitoris actually has eight times the amount of nerve endings as the head of a penis and there are almost no nerve endings in the barrel or I guess shaft of your vagina so two plus two equals so if you and your partner are struggling with this and you're trying to make it work and trying to find ways to see um, you know how you can get you the girl to that point um, get them to concentrate on your clitoris it's gonna help a lot number two your mental stimulation doesn't always correlate with your physical one sometimes the balance and the connection just isn't there. Sometimes you can be really mentally stimulated and you're like, oh my god, I'm so ready to get it on, but your downstairs is like, eh, mm, not really feeling it. And that is normal. So there are moments where I've been like, okay, like I'm ready to go, like I'm feeling sexy, da 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 da. And then you get down there and it's kind of like, ooh, anticlimactic. Like it isn't the watery, slippery slide that we wished it was. And you know, it's it's kind of embarrassing sometimes when you're going through that situation and you're kind of thinking like, oh no, like, it's like a desert down there, like is it going to feel like sandpaper? Um, but just to let you know, it's completely normal and sometimes that connection just isn't there. But on the flip side, I find that mental stimulation is also very, very important to your physical stimulation. Um, I find that sometimes when 
they're just kind of doing the physical and like trying to get you in the mood it's a lot harder for me to get in the mood rather than if they were to stimulate my mind a little bit you know do a little bit of the talking and like other other aspects other than just like flicking the bean if that ever happens to you or if it has already happened and you're kind of feeling embarrassed about it don't be it's very normal it happens all of these things are kind of outside your area of control and it's just you're just gonna have to adapt to it in the moment and don't feel embarrassed about it because it's very 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 normal I promise number three not everyone bleeds after their first time and by everyone I mean the girls not all girls bleed after their first time I didn't bleed after my first time um, and I actually my boyfriend at the time had the fucking nerve to ask me oh are you lying to me are you actually a virgin and I'm like bitch I just lost my virginity to you and you're asking me if I was a virgin the fuck so if there's any guys out there watching this and you're about to take some girl's virginity just kidding that sounds really weird but um you know if you're about to have sex for the first time just know just because your hymen breaks doesn't mean you gonna bleed it's very normal for you not to not everybody does I think I don't know if most women do or maybe most women don't but it's just it doesn't always happen and it's fine and it's it's nice like I don't I'm glad I didn't bleed I feel like I would have been a little bit embarrassed if there was like hella blood not hella blood but like a little bit of blood um, especially in that situation and it was like my first time so I'm kind of glad that I did not it. it's literally one of those things where it's like to each their own like everybody's different everybody's body is different so um, all kind of depends on you number four so 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 important whether it's your first time or it's your 15th time or it's your 500th time um, but don't skip to the main event and especially especially in your first time you know get a little bit of this in maybe a little this in um, but just make sure that he doesn't just one like you know what I mean This is especially important, like I said, for your first time just because it will kind of ease your body into this new thing that's going to happen, this new sensation. And um, if he is really considerate and really gentle and kind of, you know, eases you into it, um, it will help a lot with the pain, it will help a lot with your nerves. So if you're a guy out there and you're inexperienced or um, maybe you're just... I don't know, looking for tips. Don't skip to the main event. Get a little bit of appies in, maybe have like some yam fries and like some chicken wings and then have your steak and pasta. Number five is probably the tip that I wish I had gotten the most. Like this is probably the tip that would have been the most helpful for me because it would have prevented so much turmoil in my life. But for girls, please pee afterwards. Please go pee afterwards. Just go and pee afterwards. Do it. Another super personal little tip into my life. Um, I've gotten numerous, numerous, numerous UTIs because I did not pee post-sex. And all of my friends will tell you the same. It's so common. It's so easy for a girl to get a UTI just because everything's kind of like there and it's like kind of like inside and there's like other stuff like kind of like... You know, there's just there's layers there's layers to our reproductive system and when you're you know having sex it's not it's not the most hygienic thing um, a lot happens here there's a lot of moisture there's a lot of stuff going on so um, for you to kind of push out everything after sex to kind of cleanse the area sometimes I'll even go in with like I'll, I'll wet my tissue and I'll give it like the pat um, and then of course you pat it dry with another tissue but you know do whatever it takes 
but keep that area clean because it's going to save you so much stress, so much pain, so much money on medication because UTIs, let me tell you, UTIs are not fun. But another tip, if you, you know, fell asleep after and, you know, you do find yourself in a situation where you're like, oh crap, like I think I'm getting a UTI, go out to your local drugstore and purchase um, cranberry supplements or cranberry pills. Um, those I find help so much and they have saved my life on multiple multiple occasions i know people say that you can just drink cranberry juice as well but i hate the taste of cranberry juice so i just buy the cranberry pills i actually keep them in like a little container and i just stash it in my purse now and i take it every with me that i just find it easier to kind of keep that preventative measure with me at all times just in case so i hope you guys found this video helpful those are five things that i wish i knew before i had sex for the first time Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and leave me a comment down below if you guys have any other tips you want to share to the community, to the girls, or even to the guys. Um, if you are a girl, you know, let them know about the clit a little bit more. Make sure to hit the subscribe button if you have been enjoying my videos. And yeah, I hope you guys are having an amazing day wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Bye!